Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I am Jules Juliet and on today's video we're going to go ahead and just give you guys an updated skincare routine because the tiny bumps are 100% gone you guys and I've been getting a lot of comments on my YouTube regarding my videos apparently. So a lot of people are commenting what oil I use and if you guys watch my videos I have the information there but also I wanted to go ahead and say that a lot of people are just very freaking mean to begin with and just say that it is my fault, it is my fault, and it is my fault. Now, let's start off by saying it is not my freaking fault because I followed a beauty guru's instructions and it was an epic fail. So, at the end of the day, you know what? Yes, it's my fault. It's my fault for not actually thoroughly analyzing the skincare. And that's something that we need to do. We need to before try anything in our skin we need to thoroughly analyze it because if we do not analyze it before trying it on our skin, things like this could happen. And let me just tell you, it was not the happiest moments of my life. But I'm so glad a lot of you guys are having, you know, the patience for your skin to recover and just go back to how it used to be and even better. Now on my skin, if you guys can see, I have a nice glowy base going on. Now my skin, I mean, it's not 100%. I'm like at 90%. 5% because uh, like my pigmentations are like almost deceiving. I only have the ones down here and I found out that actually me using I try to do like little mini tests of me just using cloth mask and me using the other mask like the medical style mask and the cloth mask made me break out so much so I am just sticking to the medical ones. Unfortunately, those are disposable, and I'm not a fan of them because you have to throw them away after obviously using them because you're not supposed to reuse them again. And it's just like, you're just piling so much, you know, but unfortunately, it is what it is. Until I find a better mask, that's one I'm going to still currently be using. Um, but yes, let's get to this video. You guys, I'm using a new mic. My baby bird ended up buying me uh, the Rode mic, the Rod, the Rod mic, which is freaking I love it so much, but I'm still finding out how to use it because for some reason it hears everything, everything, and a weird style. I don't know, you guys. Hopefully this video as I'm editing it's good. But on today's product, I'm going to show you guys some few things that I ended up in implementing or just adding in my skincare to achieve a nice, beautiful base. Now, I still go ahead and wash my, my skin twice. The reason why I do it twice is because I do go ahead and use some other products and I want to make sure that all the products are completely gone gone out of my skin. So again, I go ahead with the CeraVe and I actually started using the regular one instead of the SA now because as you can see, my face has no more little tiny bumps anymore. So I went ahead and just started using the gentle cleansing for my skin in general. Once I do that, I go ahead and started using these babies right over here. These are the Urban Skin RX. This one is an even tone one. And then this one is the Clear Skin Cleansing Bar 3-in-1 Treatment. I love both of these. Now, there is some pros and cons on these. Because I do double cleanse, this one honestly dries your skin. So I would only use this one once a week. And then I would use this one every day. The reason why I love this one every day, and this one does not dry out my skin, is because I feel that it purifies your skin a lot. You do definitely need to work on it. So what I do is I, I use a silicone. I do not use the sponge that comes with it because I feel that the sponge is very unsanitary, especially when you have to let it dry, then dust go in there. You know, it's just to me, it's very unsanitary. It's unsanitary. Unsanitary? I feel like I was saying it right the first time. It's not sanitary for me. So I love the silicone brush. That's like one of my favorite ones. I do recommend wash the silicone with the antibacterial or just a regular hand soap. Wash it. Then go ahead and cleanse your face. Then wash it. And then go ahead and insert on this bar right over here. And honestly, this one has been lasting me for a pretty freaking long time. I have it for about a month and a half already, I want to say. And I freaking love it. I feel that my skin has been doing well. I did see this other video that came out, it popped up on my Instagram that, you know, there's not really much scientific proof of you guys using things to clear your skin because at the end of the day, they are cleansers. So they're technically just meant to clean your skin, not clear your skin. So definitely just, just giving you guys a heads up upon it. 
but I love this one. If you guys are going to choose between one of these, definitely grab this one. It's a three-in-one, and it's gentle. It's not that harsh as this one is. Moving on to toners. Now, look. Ooh, Mimi's, you scared the livings out of me. Now, I honestly like the glycerin one of the Ordinary. Now, what I have been using is this one right over here. This one is the Ole Hens Hensix Hens I don't know how to pronounce it, but this blue bottle. Now, this blue bottle, honestly, I've been using it for a while, and look where I'm at. Literally, I use it every day, morning and night. It tells you to use it more at the nighttime, if anything, but I use it both. I literally just go ahead and apply it after I'm done using this. After I'm done using this serum, which is the number three product, or just, just another product that I really do love. And honestly, I'm almost out, which I need to go ahead and buy me another one. This one is an Inky List hyaluronic acid wow i can't even freaking talk but this is right over here you guys literally honestly this is something that you need to implement into your skincare and the reason why is because when i was going through little tiny breakouts i literally had really freaking dry skin like my skin was like peeling it was just falling apart so having something that's like super hydrating is a must but also you don't want something that's really, really freaking oily. So this is actually a product that I wish I would have found out earlier about it. Where did you go? I wish I would have found out about this product earlier than anything else. Um, but yeah, this one you could use it honestly anytime, morning or night. It is a serum. So what I do is I basically go ahead and wash my face. Then I go ahead and apply this serum. Then I go ahead and apply these toners. So really this has been my current routine of just skincare prep and that's it and then I go ahead and just apply either sunscreen or moisturizer um, definitely sunscreen is a must if you guys want to try this drink get the freaking bubbly one of the pink lady that one's pretty freaking good I've tried a lot of them and honestly this is so far my first the my number one then it'll be the ginger one it's a little bit strong but this one tastes don't smell it do not smell it just, just drink it like a shot like and you will say thank you. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.